We need to draw a labeled free body diagram for all the forces acting on the sled with the girl. So let's go ahead and take a look. A boy is pulling a girl on a sled with a total mass of 70 kgs across the snow at a constant velocity of 2.5 meters per second. The rope makes an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal. The tension in the rope is 120 newtons. Friction cannot be ignored so let's go ahead and take a look we need a free body diagram for the girl with their sled the system so let's go ahead and take a look and see how that will look like first things first we need the weight because it is always there so there we go we have the weight now we can think about everything else right they are resting on a surface right the boy is pulling the girl on a sled on the snow right so they are resting on the ground or on the snow rather so because of that we're gonna have a normal force so we are expecting something like that so there we go we have the normal force friction cannot be ignored so we have the friction force in the opposite direction these people are going to the west so frictional force should be going to the east so there we go we have our frictional force and lastly the tension on the rope that the boy is using to pull the girl so something like that at an angle of 60 degrees so let's take a look we have the tension normal force frictional force and the weight we have four forces and the equation is out of four max. So it feels like we have been able to identify all the forces that we are required to. 2.2, nothing complicated. Let's go ahead and take a look at 2.3. So the first equation, 2.3.1, let's calculate the horizontal component of the tension in the rope. We want to find the horizontal component, that is Tx. Horizontal is Tx and the vertical is Ty. So the tension in the rope is 120 newtons. So Tx will be equals to the tension cos of theta, of which T we know fully well that it is 120 and the angle is 60 degrees. So 120 multiplied by cos of 60 degrees if you put that in your calculator you will get 60 newtons so there we go we have our horizontal component horizontal component cos of theta and then vertical component sine of theta that's when we have a horizontal surface on an incline is quite the opposite literally is the opposite right so let's move to 2.3.2 the vertical component of the tension in the row so we are looking for ty which will be equals to t sine of theta so we have 120 multiplied by sine of 60 degrees our angle is 60 degrees if you put that in your calculator let me just go ahead and do that real quick 120 multiplied by sine of 60 i'm getting 103.92 so we have 103.92 newtons 2.4 while the sled is pulled with a constant velocity of 2.5 meters per second to the left the boy let go of the rope calculate the acceleration with which the sled experiences while it is stopped by the frictional force by the kinetic friction if the coefficient is 0 0.23 so let's take a look the boy let's go of the rope when the boy let's go of the rope then we have the weight still acting on the object and we have the normal force obviously and then the sled is still moving to the west so our frictional force is still pointing to the east so we have the frictional force so if we were to look at the forces acting along the x-axis, we would have f net 
being equals to ma but we only have one force acting along the x-axis along the horizontal which is the frictional force so we have the frictional force being equals to m a right we don't have any other force that is acting on our object the frictional force is obviously equals to the coefficient multiplied by the normal force this will be equals to m a the coefficient is said to be 0 0.23 and then the normal force will be equals to the weight in this instance because we don't have a force acting on the object at an angle so the weight of the sled with the girl is 70 multiplied by 9.8 and then this is equals to 70 the mass multiplied by the acceleration 157.78 being equals to 70 multiplied by the acceleration we divide both sides by 70 obviously so let's go ahead and see what we get so if we divide both sides by 70 i'm getting an acceleration of 2.254 meters per second squared this is to the east okay why am i saying to the east Newton's second law is that the object will accelerate in the direction of the net force. The frictional force is to the east, so the acceleration should also be to the east because in this case our frictional force is our net force. And per Newton's second law, the object accelerates in the direction of the net force with an acceleration that is so on and so on. You know what it says. So there we go. That is question two.